Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate everybody stopping by and watching this video on CKV. I appreciate all my TikTokers coming over here and checking this out. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you're bullish on CKV, smash that like button. Now, we have seen CKB rise about 300, 400% in the last month. It's been nuts. We can see how the Voyager app, the first app or exchange, US exchange to carry CKB, this is not on Coinbase as of right now. This is not on some of those other big US exchanges right now. Uh, this is kind of a hidden gem. Uh, we are very much in the early days with this uh, this coin uh, right now. Uh, where CKB stands as far as market cap is concerned, well, we're sitting at about one billion eight million uh, market cap uh, right now at about 0.034 cents. So when I'm seeing these wild hundred dollar, fifty dollar price points, yes, I get the fact that. Uh, you know, if enough people start using this network to store data and process data, all the CK bytes will uh, start getting used up and basically held. Uh, I, I do think, uh, you know, this will create a more limited supply. Uh, so the potential to run is there. However, when we're talking a market cap of one billion at about three and a half cents, we can just expect that this coin will be trading at about 35 cents or 32 cents, somewhere in there, once we hit a 10 billion market cap. This is so cheap right now, I think it's easy for people to drop 100 bucks on it uh, and, and hold, uh, or more money. Uh, full disclosure, I got in at about 0 .009 uh, right before this big jump. But nonetheless, here we are, and, and I'm definitely in this for the long haul. Uh, I, I, I do think that I will probably be a CKB holder until at least 25 cents, 50 cents, somewhere in there. At that point, we'll be looking at, uh, you know, about a $50 billion market cap at 50 cents. Uh, so that's more than ADA right now, and, and you can kind of compare uh, you know, if this was trading at a dollar, we'd be looking at a hundred billion dollar market cap. Maybe someday, folks, um, five, ten years, who knows? That's the correct answer, who knows? Going forward, what can we expect from CKB after this most recent uh, price jump and, and retracement? Well, there's some things hidden here in the chart that I think we should check out. One thing I want to do is try to figure out some Fibonacci. I'm really attracted to this support and resistance area here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is measure off these. This will be my control. And as you can see, uh, we're, we're aligning this lower uh, zero line of Fibonacci support and resistance at this low down here. And interestingly enough, uh, I do have this chart in log mode right now. So interestingly enough, we see this golden ratio, 1618. This thing came up and touched it. Uh, what a beautiful, beautiful play that was. We currently are bouncing on the three-hour chart off this 50 moving average. It looks like we will get a new candle in about an hour. And what I'm hoping here to see is a, uh, a spinning top, uh, you know, bullish. I want to see a green candle here or a doji star or something like that. Uh, furthermore, let's run a little Elliott wave and we'll run some Fibonacci time zone after that. Uh, I've been eyeing up Fibonacci, or I'm sorry, Elliott wave theory on this. Uh, I, I'm having some hard time, I'm having a hard time starting uh, from this metric here, primarily because of this dip here. And I know that it hasn't retraced down below here, but uh, according to theory, we cannot allow point uh, two to three wave, two to three uh, be the smallest wave. And in theory, 
if we measured or started Elliott wave here, this would be the smaller, uh, a smaller wave. Uh, so that is why I'm saying I'm going to start some Elliott wave theory right in here. We'll come up, boom, boom. And I happen to think we may just be in this move of four, three to four, four to five. Um, especially if we get a bounce, I think we could test this 0 0.04, this four and a half cent level rather quickly. Uh, one thing to note is that I'm going to measure some Fibonacci time zone off this shoulder. I'm just going to go ahead and move this out of the way for now because I want to get the most accurate measurement that I can. Bear with me one second, folks. Okay, so by measuring this shoulder, the swing high and a swing low, the reason I chose this, uh, this line or this candle here is the swing high is because this candle here, this candle here, and this candle here all went up to the same price. This candle's in the middle. That's my, that's my reasoning. Of course, we have a swing low here. Look at this. This accurately predicted when uh, we were going to see a pivot point. Again, this predicted when we were going to see a top. And over here, this could be representative of uh, representing a new low or a pivot point, which would make sense if this is Elliott wave theory. So are we going to see a pump back up to this four and a half cent level? Uh, folks, I'm sure hopeful that we will see that. MACD is in the garbage right now. It's not crazy uh, as low as it's been, but uh, what I'm seeing here is the heavy selling is done for now. It would be nice to get this new candle in an hour to see if this produces a slightly shorter uh, pink hue uh, block. Uh, also, we have fairly low RSI, uh, RSI that's in the oversold territory. It is sitting at 44.16. Uh, so RSI is definitely needed on a lower level to see another pump. I'm excited about the potential setup we have going right here. I'm kind of noticing that we may have a little channel here and we're going to do some shift pitchfork as well. Eh, I mean, you can kind of see there's a little bit of a channel. Let's get rid of the Fibonacci uh, uh, support and resistance here. And let's go and get rid of, well, let's keep this, let's keep this uh, Elliott wave here on the chart. Uh, since this is a major event in CKB history, getting on the U.S. exchange, uh, let's go ahead and we'll run a little shift pitchfork on this. Okay, so we're going to just zoom in. I want to make sure our points are nice and tight here. Make sure everything's accurate. Okay, I feel good about that. Okay, I'm seeing lots of uh, decent uh, bounces and support off or within the support channel. So now it looks like we have a Fibonacci time zone coming up on April 6th. So could this here signify a reversal and maybe a March, if this signifies a high, uh, we, we could see CKB run up to possibly uh, the, the six cent level or just above it, uh, according to this. I'm gonna go ahead and bring back some Fibonacci retracement and I wanna find out what that level is. Uh, my own curiosity. Yep. 
Bear with me one fo second, folks. Interestingly enough, uh, even though this may not be exact, we are up by the 2.618 line. Uh, very close to it. I could see this nipping at the heels of, uh, you know, 2618. Uh, first and foremost, this 4.5 cent to uh, 5.5 cents is going to be extremely crucial and hard for CKB to break if the volume and support is not there. Uh, I definitely could see CKB doing one of these if we can't break this this four and a half cent level and maybe forming some sort of an ascending triangle or wedge. Uh, but we won't know until the time comes. I'm more interested in this candle that's going to drop in the next hour. That is my TA on CKB right now. Let's just go ahead and, in a theoretical sense, let's just say, let's just say, CKB uh, went on a rager in this same channel for, I don't know, till September. Let's see what kind of new highs we could potentially reach. Uh, so, yeah, on a log chart, this is lying. $10? I don't think so. At least <laughs> not right now. But uh, you can definitely see how if this stays within this channel, uh, I definitely fully expect some sideways consolidation uh, or even setbacks, uh, dips in there to uh, break us from this channel. But, I mean, as you could see, by August, hey, you know, if, if this stayed trading in the same channel by August, $1.56, I don't expect it to by any means. We're definitely going to see maybe if this theory pans out, some sideways consolidation here. Uh, and, and we will just kind of move up like uh, everything does. Uh, takes a break, moves up, takes a break, moves down. You get the picture. So I hope you guys enjoyed all of this TA. And if you liked it, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe. We'll be covering CKB a little bit closer, but until now, uh, you know, until, uh, you know, in about a couple hours, uh, we'll see what this Fibonacci time zone does. This could drop us back down to the 30 cent level or we start our ascent back up to the four and a half cent level to challenge that level. Peace out.